Hey everybody, welcome back to Flying the Beach 18 in advance of our tour of Scotland. You can see we're coming up to the town of Kirkcaldy on the coast here at the Firth the Forth. Off in the distance on the right you can see the, the bridges. And the airport is just beyond that, so we're getting close to having to descend. So let's jump on board and start getting set up. So we're going to want to descend down to, as I said, 1200 feet for the approach. So we're going to turn off the altitude hold. Actually, yeah, we are. We're going to go into pitch mode, and we're going to start pitching down. Now there's no auto throttle type of things here, so we're going to have to pull the power ourselves to keep the speed from increasing too far. So we're going to come back to 25 inches, and we're going to keep nosing down until we start descending. There we go. A little bit more. And we'll try to get about a thousand feet per minute. Keep those engines back. Keep those props at about 1900 RPM. So we're going to basically come in and turn on to a right final for the airport. Airport heading is 241 degrees. It's runway 24, so we're going to basically set our indicator to 24 once we go into manual flight mode just as a reference. What we could do is dial in the frequency of 1089. That's the ILS frequency. We could use that as a reference. And now we can turn this to 241. So we're through 4,000 feet. And it basically gives us an indication of where the runway center line is. There's Edinburgh. And we're coming in nicely, so we're going to start slowing down even more. Our landing speed in this airplane is about 80 knots when we've got the flaps and landing configuration. There's 3,000 feet coming up. We can come down now. Landing lights will go on. Put on our seat belts if we had passengers. Of course, we could tune up everything here for DME. If we had uh, ADFs or not NDBs, we want it to be following as well. We could have the NDBs coming up over here. Three, four, one. See how fast I can do this. There's three, four, one. We'll change it over. We should get it coming up over here. There it is. There. So that's the NDB. It's picking up. 2,000 feet coming up. There's the town. The airport is over there. So we're going to disconnect the autopilot. And go 241. I had that in the wrong spot. It's 241, not 214. This is reference points. Coming around for the airport. There it is over there. Right over there. So again, we want to get her down to about 1,200 feet. So we're still descending. We just pull, push the nose. Again, we can use everything we have at our power. We can set up the full ILS approach and then just use it as reference for a visual. And there's 
the Edinburgh Harbour area. Bring the power back a little bit more. So if we had leaned out the engines, we'd now go full mixture on those props. We're going up to full RPM. Power is coming back. So we're a little bit low now, but we'll level to bleed speed. And we're going to be watching our airspeed here. 105 knots, roughly, we can start dropping the flaps and gear. We want to touch down at about 80. Ideally, we put her down on her main wheels, let her slow down, and then lower the tail. It's called a wheel landing. All right, so you can see we're kind of lined up now. seeing a glide slope indicator so probably don't have it that side set up right a little bit low Let's see we're four reds so we're gonna hold the nose up keep a slightly positive rate of climb if we had DME indication we know how far out we are so we're four miles. We had, we do have DME indicate. Well, at least from the NDB. All right. So gear coming down. All right. So we're, we're not too bad. Right back on the engines. Putting in some trim, there we are on the path. Now we want to try to keep those lights. All right, first notch of flaps. It's very noisy. Speed's down to 90. It's full flaps, engine's up. We gotta keep 80. So she's got three notches of flaps. Keeping that 80 knots. A little high. Off on the power. Keeping that 80 knots. Come from the threshold. Come down. All right, she's on the wheels. So forward pressure on the stick to pin it, rudder to keep her straight. She's slowing down, throttles back. All right, tail's gonna come down now. All right, all right. there's the stall speed, but the tail is now pinned. That's the tail down. Whoop. Again, she's a bit of a handful to handle. Tail is pinned. And we are down. I do have to use a little bit of brakes again. The rear tail wheel is not free castering at this point. So she is going to require some force to get her to move. But we're going to come off here. Since we've slowed down, or we can do it right now, we will unlock the tail wheel, and you can see we can now flick that tail around. It gets us off the runway a little bit easier. There we go. So we'll get ourselves over the line here.
again, Roger should be doing this, but Roger's not here. So, flaps are coming all the way up. Transponder will go to standby. Landing lights are retracted. Put our nav lights over to steady. I don't think we had actually had a strobe light. Oh, the tail is flashing. It's part of the whole nav light setup. All right, so we are down now. We're gonna open up the engine cowls. Again, we're on the ground. We don't want the engines to overheat, so we're gonna provide it lots of airflow. And we can taxi. So again, I'm gonna have to watch on the taxi. Make sure we don't flick that tail around too much. Just go into the main apron. So she's not bad flying. She's pretty good. She's easy to land. Um, again, the autopilot's hit or miss. You got to play with it a little bit to get her working. When she does work, she's fine for the basics. And everything there was good. You cannot, it doesn't have the fidelity of opening up the things and uh, looking at baggage and passengers and load sheets. Everything is, that type of thing has to be done out of the main menu. Uh, before loading so for a relatively inexpensive little twin engine classic it is not bad just don't expect high fidelity uh, with it in regards to some of the other producers of aircraft third-party companies all right we'll just go into the first parking spot here at Edinburgh a little bit of brakes do not want to be going too fast when you make a turn in this thing. Again, you can actually have it spin around on its central axis. All right, and we're gonna go into 4A. Nice little historic flight here. to be fun doing sightseeing up here. We are going to be running some uh, custom airports and we are running the Orbex Scotland mesh and terrain upgrades and everything so it should look very nice. All right brakes are on. So as I normally do engines up to 1000 rpm. What this does is pull the oil out of the bottom of the engine, get it out of the sumps, get it moving, get it lubricating everything and that is important on round engines because oil tends to pool at the bottom so you want to try to get it sprayed away and around to other places so you set it up there you let it run for a second shut the pitot heat off all right so now we shut down the engines so we're going to go right mixture right prop right throttle left mixture, left prop, left throttle. Not bad. I like the way they kick back slightly. That uh, does happen. And then we can shut off the lights so the beacon light can come off, seatbelt signs can come off, we can turn off all the masters, we can turn the nav lights to off, the windshield is off, pedo heat's already off. And we can kill the battery and generators. And that's the aircraft shut off. So there you have it. The Lockheed Beach 18. Hope you enjoyed this little intro. And we will be seeing more of this airplane on the Scottish tour. Thanks very much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.